I'm here right outside the north boundary of Bridger Bowl on a southeast facing slope and we dug a pit to see how wet is it because we're really concerned about wet avalanches. Um, I have a thermometer and I took temperatures the whole way down and the entire snowpack is zero degrees Celsius, which means it's right at freezing. So we call that an isothermal snowpack. The reason that's important is when we have an isothermal snowpack, it means that there's water, there's ice crystals, there's vapor, um, all here in the snow. And it's important because once we get melting, once the snow hits the upper snow and we start to put water in the snowpack, it's gonna travel freely all the way through it and it's going to weaken really quickly. So this time of year, um, on these, especially on these south facing slopes, we're really worried about water moving through the snowpack because it breaks it down, it changes the structure, uh, the snow actually loses all its kind of structural integrity and uh, loses its strength and that's when we see large wet avalanches. So tonight, hopefully it'll freeze tonight and we'll get a nice thick crust because what that means is in the morning it's going to take some time for the sun to break that crust down. Um, but if it doesn't freeze tonight, that means that as soon as the sun rises in the morning, it's going to start melting that snow, it's going to start putting water into the snowpack, and we're probably going to see a rather significant spike in wet avalanches. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for some freezing temperatures and hopefully it's going to get cold here one of these days.